Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to rename a picklist value in Salesforce. And we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic interface. So let's proceed and firstly understand what does we mean by a rename a value in a Salesforce picklist. So in Salesforce, renaming the picklist value means changing the old value of the picklist with a new name of a picklist value without renaming it reference. Basically, when we are renaming the picklist value, we are modifying the label which is the name of the picklist value that appear in the user interface and it has no impact on the information kept in the Salesforce or any associated functionality. And in addition to this, Renaming the picklist value can improve the clarity, fix the mistake, improve the user experience and also unifies the label according to the organizational world. Even it helps the user to choose the right value from the picklist by altering the display label. So there is a difference between renaming and replacing the value in the if you want to learn how we replace the picklist value in Salesforce, we have already video for this. You will get the link in the description box. Now we are discussing what does we mean by the renaming a picklist value or how we can rename the picklist value in Salesforce. So let's understand just with a small example. For example, I have by mistakenly typed the name of a picklist value incorrectly like i want to type the name as a in progress but i have uh, by mistakenly typed the uh, spelling of the progress incorrect now how can i change it can i delete it no i don't delete this picklist value i simply change the name of this picklist value by renaming it so when I rename it, it successfully changed its name to the correct value. So now let's proceed and learn to rename the picklist value in Salesforce Lightning. So your first step is to log in into your Salesforce account as an administrator. Once you successfully logged in, make sure that you are in a Lightning interface. If you are not on the Lightning one, firstly redirect yourself to the Lightning and most of the cases you will not be on the main setup page of a lightning interface you will be logged into to some application pages or some home pages of a particular application so for this you need to click on the setup button or a setup option or you can say a gear icon or you can say a setting icon that is given on the top side and from here you can click and here we have an option of a setup so you Click on that and it will open up a new tab and which take you to the lightning interface main setup page of a lightning UI interface of a Salesforce. Once you successfully reached here, you will get an object manager option on the top of the navigation bar next to this home. And you need to click on this object manager and it will open up the page that will show you the list of all the objects that we have in a Salesforce and it shows both the standard as well as the custom object. Now from here, you need to choose up the object which you want to rename or whose value you want to rename, okay, in the pick list. So here I'm going to show you the example with the help of the lead object. Either you can scroll down and search for the lead or you can simply utilize this quick find feature and search for the lead here and you will get the list of a search object related to that. So here is the lead. I click on that and it takes me to the page that shows me the information about this lead object and it shows me the several options that the lead objects have. On the left side, we have an option of a field and relationship. I click on that option and it open up all the fields that we have in the lead object. Either it is a standard one or the custom one. Now it's time to search for the pick list field whose value you want to rename. So here I am going to show you for the lead status. I have a field in this that is a name as a lead status. So I search for this quick find 
and when I search here I get the lead status so I click on that field and uh, once I click on that it will take me to the particular page of this field and here I get the detail of this uh, lead status uh, field now I scroll down to the lead status pick list values here I will get the list of all the values that this lead have so here uh, I am deciding to rename some of the value that I want to rename so here I am going to uh, rename the value name as a new lead okay I am going to change this value to the updated lead for example so I click on this edit button that is given next to it here we have a three option edit delete and deactivate I am going to click on this edit option and once I click on this edit option it open up the page where I can enter a name of the pick list value and I check the box to use the value as the default one also here you can see that in we have a field for the label here I enter up the new name that I want to change so here I am going to change it to the updated prospect lead okay suppose here I have entered a, this has a new pick list value so once I entered up the new value it successfully changed up the existing value to the new one and uh, here you can see that we have a option of a API name also we can also change uh, the name of the API and uh, set it according to the label name if you want but it is recommended to keep the api name unchanged as it affects the data integrity so it's as per your choice once you successfully uh, do the changes you need to click on the save button that is given down and once you click on the save button it changes up the value here you can see that when i scroll down it changes up the value as a updated prospect lead from the new lead so with this we have successfully learned up how to rename the pick list value in a salesforce lighting component now we will proceed and learn to rename the pick list value in salesforce classic interface if you are using so for this you firstly logged into your salesforce account and make sure that you are in a classic interface i am on a lightning one so i firstly redirect myself to the classic so i click on my profile and here i will have an option of a switch to a salesforce classic once i click on that it will open up the new tab and take you to the classic interface of a salesforce and by default you are always reached on a home page of a salesforce classic but to do up some things you need to click up on the setup option that is given on the top side once you click on this setup option it will take you to the classic setup of a salesforce now you need to scroll down and on the left side you will get a build section and under this build section you have a customized drop down option once you click on that it shows you all the objects that we have in a salesforce so it basically shows the standard object in this thing if you are dealing up with the custom one you can uh, go to the create option and here you will find the option of objects and here you will get the list of the custom objects now i am going to show you the example for the campaigns so here this is the standard one so i get it uh, in a build section when i click on the campaigns drop down it shows me the option regarding that i click on the fields option of the campaign once i click on that it takes me to the page where i will get the all the fields of a uh, campaign object in salesforce either it is a custom or the standard one so now it's time to choose up the field or pick list field whose value you want to rename so here i am going to do that things for the status uh, field so you can see that it has two section uh, the one for the standard field and one for the custom field if you are dealing up with the 
uh, standard one you need to search for your field in the standard and if you are dealing with the custom one you need to search for your uh, pick list uh, field in the custom one so here i have a status uh, field in a standard type so i click on it once i found it and once i click on that it will take me to the page for the particular this status field of a campaign once i scroll down i have a section of a campaign status uh, pick list value okay here you can see that it shows me the list of all the values that i have now i want to rename the value here you can see that i have a value as a registered and its api name is planned so i decided to change this value to the planned also so i simply click on this edit option that is given next to this particular value and once i click on this edit option it takes me to the page where i can rename it you can see that here i have a field for the label here i can enter a new label and uh, i am going to change the existing one uh, that is a uh, registered and i have decided to change it to the plan so here i erase it out and here i entered up the new as a plan and once i successfully enter it do that you can also modify the api name if it doesn't match or as per your requirement and uh, uh, it will be updated according to your requirement but uh, it is recommended that you remain this api name as it is if you don't necessarily want to change it because it affects the data integrity after making up the changes you need to click on the save button that is given here and once you click on the save button it successfully rename the pick list value in the salesforce classic now let's see it's uh, done this thing or not so i again scroll down and move to the campaign status pick list value you can see that here the registered value is renamed with the planned one it now showing the planned as a value in the pick list list of the campaign status so with this i have successfully learned how to rename on the pick list value in salesforce classic and the and in this whole video i have learned the scenario to rename the pick list value in both salesforce lightning as well as a classic interface if you like this video click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day